What do you need? Ask away. Oh, did I say that? I meant that dogs raised me. Giant slobbering dogs from the Anderfells. A whole pack of them, in fact. Well, it wasn't until I was eight that I discovered you didn't have to lick yourself clean. Old habits die hard, you know. And my table manners, too. Though, come to think of it, they weren't all that different from the other Templars. Or did I dream all of that? Funny the dreams you'll have when you sleep on the cold, hard ground, isn't it? <laughs> Are you having strange dreams? I, uh, oh, I, I think I completely lost my chain of thought. Oh, there it is. Let's see, how do I explain this? I'm a bastard. And before you make any smart comments, I mean the fatherless kind. My mother was a serving girl in Redcliffe Castle who died when I was very young. Arleman wasn't my father, but he took me in anyhow and put a roof over my head. He was good to me, and he didn't have to be. I respect the man, and I don't blame him anymore for sending me off to the Chantry once I was old enough. Arleman eventually married a young woman from Orlais, which caused all sorts of problems between him and the king because it was so soon after the war. But he loved her. Anyhow, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as his bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age ten, just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. Maybe. She felt threatened by my presence, I can see that now. I can't say I blame her. She wondered if the rumors were true herself, I bet. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall and it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The Isle came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually, he just stopped coming and raised my dogs. Or I may as well have been, the way I acted. <laughs> yeah, but maybe all young bastards act like that. I don't know. All I know is that the Arl is a good man and well-loved by the people. He also was King Kaelin's uncle, so he has a personal motivation to see Loghain pay for what he did. Anyway, that's really all there is to the story.